I've got quite a few um, exotic skins here. They're mostly um, crocodile and alligator, and there is one fake amongst these. Um, I do get asked a lot, um, you know, is, people send me messages, is this a real skin, is it genuine, is it fake? And also, is it alligator or is it crocodile? Um, one of the ways to, to be able to identify um, a, um, a genuine um, crocodile skin, um, if I get this uh, skin focused very carefully, we can see these tiny little dots, each scale, I'll bring it a little bit closer, these tiny little dots here and this we know and um, because of these tiny dots is a genuine crocodile skin in fact this is saltwater crocodiles very very soft um, it's a foster and some bespoke shoe it is rather special and um, that is a genuine uh, crocodile skin only crocodile has these tiny little um, just come a little bit closer again you can just see these little dots and um, they're only about I don't know less than a millimeter um, on, a, on a relatively small skin. Um, a crocodile has a sensory hair across the body. They're rather, they're, they're quite short and um, the whole sort of body has the sensory hairs. Let's have a look. This one, this one's a John Lobb from about 1968. And once again, it's got these sensory hairs. Because of the uh, depth of the colour, they're difficult to see. Um, but each, each scale does have one. There's one. Go a little bit closer and change the angle. Um, yeah, there's one here, one here, one here. It's quite difficult to see because the shoe's so dark. Um, I do have another channel. Um, it's a YouTube channel, Bespoke Addict YouTube channel, and that is filmed in greater clarity. Um, this one here, and um, this one's um, this one's alligator. And if we come really close, we can't see. There's no. There's, the, the scales are much smoother. There's no um, no sensory hair scarring whatsoever. Um, it's a beautiful skin, really stunning. And um, this is, I think, from 1987. It's quite an old shoe, but it's had very, very little wear. Um, but come really close into the camera. There's no no evidence of these little um, little sensory scars. So we know that one's alligator. Um, because the scales are square, it's alligator belly. The belly of the alligator and the crocodile, they're rather square. And when it comes round to the side, to the rib area, the, um, the, 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 the scales are round. Now then, this one's interesting. Um, it appears to be alligator. There's no, um, there's no sensory hair scars. But actually, this is a rather good fake. It's 100% fake. It's not a genuine skin. Even though the tones of the colours, it, um, it's got these fantastic sort of variations in, 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 in the tone. Um, the real giveaway is the, um, is the wrinkling across the vamps here. Genuine skins don't tend to wrinkle in, in full, in, in, in long stripes like that. They tend to wrinkle around the scales themselves. So you know, that one's fake, even though it's, it's actually quite difficult to spot. Um, it is fake. It, it does look very good, to be fair. Um, comparing uh, a, real, a real skin and a fake together, you know, you could easily be fooled. That one's crocodile, that one's supposed to be alligator. Now let's get some alligator, here we go. Um, you could be fooled, it's very good. Um, what, what else have we got here? Um, oh yes, this one's fascinating. Um, it's uh, Cayman. Um, it's each scale has a lot of pock marks. These tiny little, these tiny little holes. Every scale is covered in these. It's only really caiman that has that. It looks a little like crocodile or alligator, but it's a totally separate species. It's caiman. It's, it's actually very rough. It's um, it's not a smooth skin. It's quite tough. Um, it's it's hard wearing. It's it's not smooth to touch. Um, it's a beautiful skin, uh, but it's it's because it's. Less shiny, it's um, it's less smooth than crocodile and alligator. It tends to be less popular as a, as a choice. So this is for about 1950. It's, once again, it's rather old. Fantastic, but as I say, let's get really close to the camera. Um, these pock marks are a giveaway. It's um, it's Cayman. What else do we have? Oh yes, more more alligator. This is from a very old, from about 1925. Um, if we come very, very close to the camera, once again we can see there's no, um, there's no little sensory hair scarring. These are 
definitely genuine uh, alligator skins, not crocodile. If it was crocodile, it would have one little scar in each each scale. Um, genuine skins also, they're not smooth on the surface. They're kind of, they're uneven, they're slightly rough, slightly bumpy. The scales are not smooth, whereas they, um, the fake, let's pull the fake out again. They're much, much smoother to touch and they, they just, they just don't feel right when you're used to handling exotics. And uh, I might have one or two more. Um, oh yes, this one's, this one's amazing. It's absolutely enormous. Um, that is my shoe size. And they, they look at the difference. They're both made by the same maker. And this is another Foster and Son. Let's look closely. Um, it's, uh, it's crocodile. It's definitely crocodile. Um, if we uh, look closely into the scales, yeah, we can see the little tiny telltale uh, century hair scars. These are about the size of 12 or 13. They're, they're utterly enormous. Way too big for myself. If you've got rather large feet, um, they're about size 12 or 13, do send me a direct message, I'll sell these. I love them, but I'll never wear them. They're obviously massively too large for me. And uh, I think there's just one more to show you. This is uh, from the same source. It's truly enormous. Um, it has a band of crocodile. I've lost my little pointer, so... Uh, um, it's definitely crocodile. It's, it's, there's little tiny sensory hair scars on each... Uh, on each scale, but it's just that band through there. Um, these are made by John Rob. Once again, they're about a size 12, 13. They're truly enormous. Um, the same, the same size as these. They, I, I will sell them if anybody's interested. Just send me a direct message. Um, I hope this is uh, this has proved quite interesting and um, you know slightly useful. And um, I've got another channel. It's uh, the U I've got a YouTube channel, bespoke a YouTube channel, where I look in more in depth. This is far from an exhaustive exercise. Um, it's it's a little more exhaustive on the YouTube. Um, if you've enjoyed it, um, let me know, and I will uh, pop one or two more videos of other exotics I've got. There's a lot of um, what have we got? Um, we've got a lot of uh, lizard. We've got snake, shark. Various, various skins that I can help identify. If you're interested, let me know and I'll put those films up too.